Hey everyone, it's Gypsy. So today is May 3rd, 2024, and it's time for my weekly gardening update. So I have so much um, in the way of vegetable gardening, food gardening, and decorative gardening, that putting them both together in one update is too much. So I'm going to split them up. So this part is the decorative gardening. Isn't that crab apple tree gorgeous? The, it still has its white flowers. Um, anyways, I told you in a short over the past couple of weeks that I put up this trellis and that I was going to plant uh, morning glory seeds and moonflower seeds, which I did yesterday in these. I come out this morning to check and I find this and we all know who did it my nemesis chipmunk family so I'm hoping the seeds are still in there I will put it back this one was also disturbed but not quite as much so I patted that back down I'm gonna see if I'm going to put something on here to protect it I might have something if I don't. I watch a channel called Renee's Garden. She goes to Dollar Tree and gets, um, you know those round screens that you put over a frying pan? She puts those on hers. I don't know how she weighs them down so they don't flip them up, um, but I might be doing that option. Anyways, replanting these. If they don't come up soon, I am just gonna have to buy starts because these, sprout very quickly in fact I soaked my seeds and when I planted them yesterday they had sprouted so maybe that was part of the problem and they sniffed it out I don't know but I don't think so because I planted something else in a pot yesterday and they did the same thing so back here uh, I have been looking for a garden bench for next to the pond so we had a new neighbor moved in and apparently the old owners of the property left a lot of stuff and he wanted to get rid of this. He was about ready to put it on the fire pit and burn it. I said, I want it. And he says, you can have it. It is very, very sturdy. I might repaint it. Um, I love it. This is gonna be my new reading spot. Right now it's underneath that beautiful tree which will soon be just green. Um, I love this. I mean, th there's nothing wrong with it other than maybe a coat of paint. It's very, uh, very nice. So, and I like the table in between the two because, you know, I could place a drink there or something. Okay, so, back here. Also, I just scattered throughout there. I planted some wildflower seeds. Last year I got a packet from a friend of mine. Then I think I purchased something at the Nature Center, got a free packet also. Uh, I couldn't plant them last year because of my leg. So I did it this year. And, let's see if you could see, things are starting to sprout here. Let's see if I can get you closer. I believe these are wildflowers coming up. Uh, so we'll have to see. We have so much wild stuff around here that it, it could be just about anything. Uh, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's the wildflowers. Um, I have also, I got three packets of different varieties of sunflower seeds. The other day I planted the eight foot, you know, the common ones that you see. Planted those. I still have um, these five foot sunflowers they almost look like carnations but they're not yellow carnations they're about five feet i'm gonna plant those and then there's a smaller one it's about two feet two to three feet so i will be planting those um yeah i'm very upset <laughs> about my moonflowers and morning glories <coughs> i also a couple weeks maybe three weeks ago I planted hollyhock seed along the fence 
be my bird sanctuary over there. Those still haven't come up as far as I could tell. So we'll see. I don't know if somebody dug those seeds up. Now, moonflower seeds, they're huge and they look like nuts. So I can kind of see why, well, it could have been a squirrel too. I mean, we just have so much wildlife around here. I think with that forest, um, you know, they have plenty to eat. No, they have to steal my stuff. So let's see. Oh. I, my, speaking of my neighbor who just moved in, uh, before that property was sold to him, the family who had it was getting rid of a lot of stuff. A lot of it was antique. So I got this antique watering can. I couldn't use it for watering because it had a lot of holes in it and couldn't hold water. So I don't know if you can see, I painted it turquoise with Rust-Oleum came out really pretty. I think I'm gonna plant something in it. Look at that beautiful dog. I don't know what he's doing, but something over there is interesting him. Um, is my baby serious? Uh, <coughs> let me see. We could get in closer. Yeah, see that turquoise? That's the watering can. Nothing special at the moment. I'll show you when I do decide what I'm going to do with it. So, this was actually should have been more like for my edible garden video. I put my Roman chamomile in this cute wooden um, planter. I come out this morning and this was also dumped over. I tried to get as much as my chamomile back in here. I'm thinking I just might throw some more seed in there and protect it with something. Oh God, I'm telling you. These, uh, these chipmunks. So that's it for this side. Uh, I'm gonna take you around the side of the house. I have started kind of like an herb garden there. I started it last year. It's doing good. Um, I'm hoping today before the rain starts that I could transfer the bulbs from the side of the woods over to the side of the house so they'll bloom. Let's see, what was it? Some daylilies. And there's something else. Purple something. Anyways... I'm going to try to put these over on the side of the house. I really would like to get somebody to remove that tree that's dying that I tried to save last year. Um, but that has been done yet. You see that tree in the middle there? I tried to save it last year. It's not going to happen. Whoever planted it there did not plant it deep enough. The wind blew it against the house. It's just not doing well. So, I do... There's hostas in this bed. I'm still not seeing signs of that. So, hoping they come back up because the chickens last year did a job on the hostas. I got a motion censored sprinkler, which actually did the trick, but I don't have enough sprinklers to go around for these girls. Anyways, so I planted herbs in here to distract them from the hostas and have this really nice herb garden starting here. Let's see. I am just not seeing signs of hostas. There was one here last year. Um, oh wait, maybe that's it? I don't know. But anyways, planted a whole bunch of spearmint in here. It's doing great and it goes down there too. And then my little baby chives, which are still maturing. And then these chives which are already, they're starting to get flowers on them. So anyways, this is where I want to plant the bulbs. I wish that tree wasn't there. I cannot get it out, but I would love to get these. And then I'm going to be putting more herbs in here as time goes on. This is a nine bark bush. 
it's gorgeous when it flowers. Um, nobody was really taking care of these bushes before I got here, so it only had, it was very straggly, it only had like one or two flowers on it. I gave it a good pruning, and it's much fuller this year. I'm hoping to see some pretty flowers, more pretty flowers on there. The azalea last year had one flower. I trimmed that up. So now I have a bunch of flowers, but it's still not full enough. I have a friend who I've been friend with, friends with for 50 years. She is like an artist in the yard. She does flowers and stuff. And when her and her husband first moved into their house, it was just plain old yard. Now it looks like a fairy tale. It looks like a Monet painting. It is gorgeous. So I always ask her advice, and she said, just prune it after uh, it's done blooming. She says every year it'll get fuller. And she gave me some other tips, like for mulch and stuff. So anyways, here, back near the woods, we have some beautiful rose bushes that are wild. I think I'm going to transplant them here and keep them pruned, take care of them so they look nice here. We also have some hostas coming up, and you can't really see them yet. So that's what I've got going on here. So anyways, I think that's the end of the decorative gardening video. I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be, and make it a joyful one.